Hey guys, it's Sarah. Today is Bookless Thursday. This is a video series that I do with my friend Lindsay over at Lindsay's Little Library. And every Thursday we bring you some sort of list or book topic that we feel like talking about for the week. And for the month of November, we are going to be doing genres that we're thankful for. So every week, we're going to talk about one of our favorite genres, we're going to talk about books in that genre that we have absolutely loved some of our favorites. And then we will talk about some books that we have that we haven't read yet, but we're really excited to that are just kind of on our radar in that genre. So the entire month of November <laughs> is going to be genre recommendations from us. And we're picking our own things. We're not planning this ahead of time. We just said, pick your favorite genre and go. We're not talking about who's posting what when so we'll see what goes up when and if we're talking about the same thing or not we don't know we'll see uh, but for the first week I wanted to talk about my personal favorite genre which is thrillers and I have uh, four off my shelves that are kind of I would consider my all-time favorite thrillers and then I have two from my shelves that I am so excited to get into all right so we're going to start with kind of a controversial one because not everybody loves this book and that is Behind Her Eyes by Sarah Pinborough. Now, um, this is definitely a polarizing book. A lot of people love this book. A lot of people hate this book. <laughs> and I'm personally one who loved it. I loved this book because it is definitely a psychological thriller. It messes with your mind big time. It takes twists and turns that I did not see coming. And it was one of those books where it hit a point and I just went, what? <laughs> just out loud. Just what? What just happened? Um, and it did it a couple times. There's a couple times. So this follows a woman who is uh, basically getting involved with her married boss. It happens accidentally. She didn't know he was married. She didn't know he was her incoming new boss. Um, they have an encounter and then she finds out that, hey, this is her new boss and oh, hey, he's married and his wife is like amazing. Great. Um, and then she finds herself kind of caught up in the middle of their relationship and she finds herself becoming more involved with him and becoming friends with his wife at the same time. And you see all this stuff start unfolding and then she's realizing that maybe their marriage is not everything that it seems to be. So good. <laughs> so that's all I'm going to say. Um, but I loved it. So if this is one that has ever interested you even a little bit, I would say give it a try and see what you think. Um, I understand why people don't like what happened in here, but I'm, I'm in the camp love. Another thriller that is one of my all time favorites for sure is Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter. This book made me fall in love with Karen Slaughter and she is now one of my favorite authors. This book follows um, a family where uh, the older sister <sighs> went missing and her body was never found. Like they don't know what happened to her. She just went missing from her college campus one day and no one knows where she is, what happened to her. They're assuming she's dead. And this is decades later um, that this ends up taking place because her, um, our main character is her younger sister. So she, our main character is married. Uh, she's married to this great guy and she still can't let her sister's disappearance go. She still feels like there's something happening and that there's something more to be said about it, especially when some victims pop up where they have some similarities of things that were happening to her sister before she disappeared. So she's thinking something else is happening here. And she ends up finding out some things about her own family. She ends up finding things out about her husband that she wasn't aware of. And she finds herself really in the middle of this whole thing and wondering how all of this is tying into her sister's disappearance. It's a whole thing. This book is so disturbing. <laughs> like it's just, whew. Um, it's very gruesome. It is extremely graphic. So if that's something that you're queasy about, I don't want to say don't read it, but ooh, be prepared. Um, but that's what made me love it so much. <laughs> so I don't know what that says about me. It's fine. Um, but this book shocked me. And I there was one point I remember, there are scenes from this book that I can still vividly remember in my head. And I read this more maybe two years ago. And there are 
there's there was a particular point in this book where I I had like my shirt was over my mouth like this because I was like, oh my god, I can't believe what I'm reading right now. Um, yeah, and I I had to put it down a couple times because I just went, I I need to give my brain a rest for a second. Just okay, and let me I'm gonna walk away for a minute and then I'm gonna come back and pick you up, which I did. But oh my gosh, this book it's definitely got the shock factor. And it wasn't shocking just to shock you. It wasn't trying to be something that it wasn't like, this is just a really gruesome, gritty story. It just is. Um, okay. So, but I loved it. I loved it. It's one of my favorites of all time. Another favorite of all time. That's probably maybe in my top five of all time <laughs> is you by Caroline Kepnes. Uh, this is the book. You guys have probably all heard about it already, um, but it was turned into a TV show as well. Um, season two is coming up soon on Netflix. I'm so excited. But this follows a um, man named Joe who meets a woman in the bookstore that he's working at. And she comes in and he's helping her and he helps her find a book and all that stuff. Um, her name is Beck. And immediately upon Beck leaving that store, Joe starts stalking her. And you see him stalk her <laughs> throughout this entire book. You see him insert himself into her life in this book. They develop a relationship in here. The whole while, he is completely obsessed and stalking her to a disturbing point. The most disturbing thing about this book that really made it so different from anything I've ever read is that you are inside Joe's head. This is told from Joe's perspective. You are in his head. You are seeing him do these things. He's saying you, 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 which is why it's called you. And it makes it seem like he's talking to you as you're reading this book and you're watching him watch you. It's a little creepy. I, I might have looked over my shoulder a couple times while reading this book. Um, that to me made this so different from anything I've ever read. I also ended up rationalizing things that he was doing in here because it's told from his perspective. So I understood his thought process. I understood why he was doing certain things. I was like, absolutely, this person needs to be out of her life. That's toxic. Get her out, Joe. Go. Like, no, <laughs> that's not okay. <laughs> and it, I was rationalizing what he was doing because I understood his point of view and I understood his point. It was still wrong though. And I knew it was wrong while I was saying it was wrong. It was right. Like, no. It was completely wrong. Not okay. Amazing. So any book that can kind of challenge my thinking that way and make me question my own morals while I'm reading the book is like fantastic. I just, it was brilliant. And then I would say my favorite thriller of all time. Um, this is like my OG thriller. This is the book that made me realize what I wanted from books and what I wanted to read. And it made me love thrillers as a genre. Like this is the, this book changed the way that I read books and the way that I want to read books. And that is Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. When this book came out, um, a lot of people were talking about it, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, I'll read it. Sure. You know, whatever. And I was, I was reading books that I was enjoying, but I, I wouldn't say I had a favorite genre. I wouldn't say I had like a, like, this is my favorite book besides Harry Potter. Um, but if someone had asked me what my favorite genre was, I don't know that I would have been able to really answer that question until I read this. This book blew my mind because there's a twist <laughs> that I did not see coming at all. And a twist like this today would not shock me because this twist started the trend of twists. It really did. Um, I think it changed the way that people write books. I really, really do. And it's just one of the first, at least popular books that had a super, you know, you're sitting here reading half of this book thinking you're reading something and then it turns out you're reading something completely different and you didn't even know it. And it was mind blowing. Now it's such a trend that that happens. People start looking for twists in books now. So I think this started that trend. And for me, it was, it definitely, like I said, it changed the way that I 
looked at books and it made me realize these are the types of books I want to read. This is what I want in my life. This is the type of book that's going to make me think and it's going to shock me and it's going to make me feel things I don't like feeling. And that's what I want to read about. And that started my love of thrillers. So this is an OG for me. It will always be one of my favorite books of all time because it changed me. Like talking about a book change in your life, this one did. And it's weird to say that about this book because this is not a good book that you want to be like, that changed my life. It made me the person I am today. Really? Okay, no, but not in that way, obviously. Um, yeah, it just, this is it. Like this was, this was my life changing book. Okay, so those are four of my favorite thrillers of all time that have really made a big impact on me to the point where I still think about them today. Now I have two that I pulled off my shelf that I really want to read that I'm just really excited about. One of them is Perfect Days. This is by Rafael Montes. This is in the same vein as you, as in you are reading from the perspective of a man who is very unstable and he ends up kidnapping a woman. He thinks they're on this perfect vacation and everything's great, but no, he actually kidnapped her <laughs> and it's not perfect. Um, so I have heard that it's kind of in the same veins as you definitely, um, but maybe not to compare it completely, but it's kind of that little a bit of a vibe and I'm totally down for anything like that. This is also very short. So uh, at some point I would really like to read this. Another one I would really like to read is a book that was gifted to me earlier this year, and that is My Lovely Wife. This is by Samantha Downing. I've heard amazing things about this book. This follows a couple who is married, and um, I believe their children are older, and they're just kind of trying to find that spark again to kind of keep their marriage going and not become stagnant. And they do that <laughs> by um, finding victims to kill and they kill people. I don't know the details. I don't know if it's just her killing and her husband's finding her or if they're doing it together or I don't know what the dynamic is there, um, but I'm totally down for that. <laughs> so, yep. I really, really want to read this one. Again, I've heard such good things about it. So, um, one of these days it will happen. Okay guys, that is gonna be it for me today. So that is my favorite genre along with some of my absolute all-time OG favorites and a couple that I really, really want to read. Leave me your favorite thrillers down below. I wanna know what your favorite thrillers are so that maybe I can see about adding some of those to my TBR. And make sure you head over to Lindsay and see what she's talking about today. I have no idea what her first genre is gonna be. So I'm interested to see what she's gonna talk about as well. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day and I'll see you again soon.